Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiara. Today we're going to be doing a plan with me video in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. This is the B6 or number 5 uh, Lush Snow Traveler's Notebook from the Foxy Fix. You guys have seen this a bunch of times, but just in case you're new here or you're not sure what Traveler's Notebook that is, I will list more details about it down below. Um, I'm going to be using this really pretty prickly pink or pink prickle I forget the name of the kit um, but it's this really cute kit from Hello Petite Paper it's summery but not too summery um, with really cute cacti and bathing suits and lots of pinks and greens and mints I hauled this some time ago so I'm just gonna go through it quickly and I just thought it was really cute it's more on the cutesy side um, and I like to use these sorts of kits in my uh, traveler's notebook because uh, I think that they just look really really adorable in the, my, in my inserts. Um, this, the plans that I'm going to be doing for this video are actually quite old. They're from the uh, beginning of the summer, a week that I wasn't feeling too well, so I didn't plan. Um, but it actually turned out to be an interesting week with like different sorts of events. And I've just had the pre planning notes um, in my desk area this whole time, so I decided why not? I don't know about you guys, but I will watch videos of my favorite people planning, and they could be planning Christmas in, I was going to say Christmas in July, but that's actually a thing, isn't it? They could be planning like spring during the winter time, and I don't really mind. I will watch and listen. Uh, because I'm, watch I'm just all about the stickers and the planning technique. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Um, I am just going ahead and flipping over, opening up my planner and flipping to my inserts. Um, if you are new here again and you haven't seen this whole sped up, setup excuse me, that I've got in this planner, I will link it um, up in a card or down below. Um, but I use my inserts from Jesenius Printables. Um, and it's a week on... I call it a week on four pages. I'm pretty sure that it's a week on four pages. Um, and you guys have seen these before. So I've got this really adorable paper clip on my last page. And this is what my last spread turned out like. And here is an empty week. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And we can just get started. So before I get started with the planning, I'm just going to take my white out and speed up through whiting out all of my dates and then the lines that I have here on the sidebar. If you're new again, it, it just might seem a little bit confusing. These inserts do say January and I think that they go into, I think they're just January over and over again. Um, just because I usually use date covers anyway and I don't ever like use this planner like every single week. It's more so just whenever I get around to it. So it seemed a little pointless for me to get like a dated version and then just give a bunch of weeks. So I just use date covers with whiteout and date covers. You can like take over the world and customize any planner. Uh, so I really enjoy that aspect. Um, and then as for the side over here, again, since this most of these spreads happen like super after the fact. This was, I think the plans that I have to share with you guys today are from like mid-June, early July. Um, I don't really use a sidebar because uh, it's so, so long ago and I don't really have to do that. And then these inserts do also have like all of this really great functional space. So what I've been doing the past few weeks that I really love and I've seen some other people do is use my washi along here. And I love the effect that it has. It is so pretty. I cannot get over it. So stunning. Um, and it's just like an easy way to take up space. I just kind of set up the theme for the spread. And I still get to use my washi, which is one of my favorite stickers in any kit that I use. Um, so I'm just going to speed up through all of that because it's not so fun. And it takes a little bit of time. And then we can get actually started. Um, we can actually get started with the planning Okay, so I always joke about how this point leaves me with a naked planner. That's kind of what it looks like. But we're just going to go ahead and get started with the bottom washi. Um, some of her kits have this really adorable, um, there we go, sort of like layered washi design that I do like to use. This washi is just a little bit on the thinner side. So I'm going to space it out a little bit more. I did keep the bottom line here just because it does help me to keep everything nice and straight and it just fits so perfectly it's amazing I am gonna white out what I don't need to see though and then I think I'm just gonna it's a little crooked 
but I don't feel like fixing it. I'm just going to layer this mint one. Should I fix it? I should, right? Oh, but Undo does not like to work with white out, so let's see how this goes. All right, so I think that looks really nice. It'll look better as it dries a little bit. And as we put down the rest of the stickers, um, I'm next gonna move into some date covers and perhaps I'll kind of just start talking about the week. So this was a really interesting week, I'd say. Now, if I'm correct, um, and I'm pretty sure, I did plan this week in advance. So I did do a regular plan with me video for this week, but it wasn't that long, just because I was not sure of the plans um, that would be happening since, oh, these are perfect. So these little bottom ones, it's hard to tell. These are date dots from Simply Watercolor Co. Date covers from little lovely rose prints, not little. These are like actually cut out to be little transparent hearts, so they fit really nicely. So that worked out quite a bit more than I anticipated to. So this week I didn't have too many plans in advance because I was actually scheduled to report to jury duty for the very first time on Monday. So perhaps if you watch that video, you recall. Um, and I was super unsure of how it would turn out. And you know, the thing with jury duty, you just know that you're supposed to show up the first day, but then the rest of it is kind of up in the air, apparently. From what I had been told and from what I looked up, like. You could be there for weeks if you were assigned to something, or you could be out for a number of days just waiting. And I was so reluctant, you guys. I was so worried and so nervous, and I didn't want to go. And I think that you could probably, I didn't rewatch it or anything, but I feel like I probably had the same vibe um, in the Plan With Me video. And when I was telling my coworkers, like, I won't be coming in tomorrow, I remember I have jury duty, like, I was so upset. like. Uh, just really, really not wanting to go. But can I just say that it was awesome? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that it was really quite good. So I actually ended up only having to go on Monday and Tuesday because that's just what the criminal justice system had in store for me, I guess. Um, and I actually wasn't assigned to anything. It was just two days of waiting, but it was actually not the worst experience ever. So when I was speaking to my dad, I, I asked him, like, what do I even do? Because he, he's been a few times, because, you know, he's older than me. Um, what do you even do? What, what can I expect? And he just told me, Kiara, it's a lot of waiting, so I like to take a good book so that I can entertain myself and read while I wait. So I... I like geared up y'all. I took a book bag and I took myself snacks. I was dressed like the worst. I was wearing like sweatpants and sneakers. It was actually quite hot, which was not fun. It was like the first few days of like really hot summer. But I was like comfort over anything and I know that those federal buildings um, or those state buildings, just fancy buildings are always really, really cold. I was like dressed down. I definitely looked 10 years younger than I actually am. Um, I took my laptop, I took my iPad, and I took my phone. I took snacks. I brought all of my chargers <laughs> and a portable charger because I didn't know what the setup would be. Um, but it was great. It was great. And I kind of, if they had told me to keep coming back for a few days, at least for the waiting part, I would have been totally fine. Um, so they're the date covers. They look really pretty and they're on this gorgeous premium mat. Um, so we do have glitter headers for the kit, but I would rather use a different color. So on the header sheets, you usually have like a few other glitter ones. Um, so I'm going to use the gold glitter and just put one of these under each of my date covers. And I'm pretty sure that these will be the only headers that I really use for the rest of the week. So uh, I was like geared up. And on Monday, I had to show up early. I guess that was the only downside. But the courthouse, I guess, I really, I'm not good with politics or the law or stuff like that. But um, 
it's actually really close to my house. So the commute was like half of my regular commute to work. And it was, I only had to take one city bus, which I, I generally really don't mind taking uh, public transportation and the buses in New York City. I don't mind it. I, I really hate the subway, but I don't mind the bus. So I was there in like 25 minutes, time to spare. And basically I just had to sit in a room and wait until they called my name. And it was so interesting because the first day, I swear that somebody in that courtroom was named Princess or something like that. Um, so I couldn't like not hear that. Like, how do you ignore a name like Princess? Other people got called like three times in one day. And that first day, I didn't get called at all. Um, so I was just like, okay, I guess that's just what it's going to be. And we got... I think my lunch break, first of all, like the Wi-Fi was great. Like I had no problems connecting to Wi-Fi, which I was kind of concerned about because I feel like I had read, honestly, I like Googled what happens when you go to um, jury duty and people were like, the Wi-Fi sucks, blah, blah, blah. My Wi-Fi was great. Let me just say that. I'm getting started on Monday and Tuesday, which were the days that I was at jury duty. The Wi-Fi was great. And I just had my headphones on, just try to make sure that I could hear in case they said my name. Which they did not the first day. Um, and then for the first day, we got lunch for like an hour and 40 minutes. They just called lunch early. I guess it was close enough to time that they knew that they wouldn't be, that there wasn't enough time to call more people up to potentially be assigned to a case. So I got like an hour and 45 minutes for lunch, which was crazy. And there was Chipotle right across the street, which is never a bad thing for me. So I packed up all of my stuff. I got to go to Chipotle for lunch. Um, when I came back, to the room um, during lunch, I, I learned that there were like two or like two quiet and like reading rooms, which was great because I was able to just go ahead and sit down and um, I was able to plug in my computer and my iPad so that it could keep charging because I definitely was like depleting the battery with um, while I was sitting around doing nothing. I'm just gonna mark that I got Chipotle because. That was pretty fun on a little thing and this little foiled um, meal icon is from Rose Colored Days. I put these two little flags to mark jury duty on Monday and Tuesday because they're so cute. Um, what else did I do? I'm going to take a half box. Oh, I should have put, you guys, you didn't tell me, I should have put my full boxes in the center. I was like, I have so much space for things. What am I supposed to do? Um, I think that I'll put this one in the middle since it's the darkest. These are not having the best time peeling up. So that seems to be about the middle to me. Then these two are quite similar. So perhaps I'll put one on this page and then one on the other page. And what else do we have? I'll put this whited out one on the other page as well. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do those quickly. Okay, so that's the placement for the full boxes. Not half bad, this is definitely higher, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, then I think that I'm also going to take a little laptop here from Tickled Plate Planning because while I was just waiting there um, before lunch and also after lunch, um, I was able to just get some editing done uh, for a video that I had filmed in advance. And these are really cute, and I think that they match perfectly with the art in this kit. Um, and then when I got home, I so I didn't get called at all the first day, which was pretty cool. And like I mentioned, I had a pretty good time, so I wasn't mad about it. But um, I was just called for the second day, and I didn't have too much to do 
at home. So I just painted my nails since I had already been like sitting around for so long. Oh, also I got out super early. So I had lunch for like an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes until about like 1.30 um, and then 1.30, 1.45. And then they like dismissed us all at 2. Uh, no, I'm sorry, at 3.30. And they just said, come back tomorrow. And I was like, okay, if you say so, <laughs> I'll be back. I'll see you then. So I had a great first day and it was just pretty chill. Like I just got to sit around. I could move around if I wanted to. I couldn't really leave, but um it wasn't it wasn't what I expected. Like when I got home and I was like, I could do this forever. <laughs> um so I painted my nails once I got home and then I also just watched like a whole So I was just thinking that to mark the movie. I might just take a half box. Um it's not like I need that much space. I might do this pink one here. And I definitely have space to take up here. And I got, I like fell asleep early. And I just knew that I had to show up the next day. And by the next day I felt like a pro. Like I was, just, I knew what time to get there. I knew what to expect. I even showed up like a little early and I went to Starbucks because I found out that there was a Starbucks across the street. I was living my best life at jury duty. Um, so that is Monday. And then Tuesday I went back. Um, and for most of the day, uh, I was just figuring out my summer wardrobe because that's something that's really important to me. Um, I'll do this one. I'll take a half box up here. I had like in the summertime especially so there's like a set number of days that I um, am with students um, and that I can expect to see them and stuff like that so uh, especially in the summertime since it's so warm and I can be it's a little more casual in the summer than during the academic year because we're with the younger kids I like to have a little bit more fun with my dress <laughs> uh, and my outfits and stuff like that I mean I feel like I always have a good amount of fun but I like to be like a little bit more fun and I usually just go to like TJ Maxx online and buy a few things that I think are going to be fun um, so I made I was just like working on my computer and I made a little spreadsheet of all the outfits that I wanted to wear and what I would need to buy and I did like all of my all of the shopping for my summer wardrobe um, during jury duty and then I actually was called up on the second day. Um, I didn't get called up until like right before lunch. So I didn't actually think, I thought it was just going to be the same thing as Monday all over again, which I wasn't like too mad about, but then they did end up calling me. Um, so f I want to use this organized sticker from Sweet Bella XOXO to mark that I organized my closet um, because I had just ordered all of this stuff for the summertime. Um, I went ahead and put away all of my winter clothes and I might put it like this. And I just made room for my summer clothes and pulled out some of these summer outfits that I had from the year before. So some of the deco is really cute and has little clothes on it. I kind of want to use that. Like this cute little bra. Okay, that works after like three years. I wonder if I should just put like the little bikini bottoms on the other side. I guess so. So I was called right before lunch. Um, and I thought that I was going to like repeat the whole thing and I was ready not to go and stuff like that and I was ready to do day three and like spend the whole week the whole month at jury duty but I did get called up right before lunch and then I got like nervous because I was like oh no like what do I do now but it was totally chill as you can imagine it was really interesting actually so we were presented and the judge was actually like really friendly he really spoke to us about like our role in like the criminal justice system and how we impact the world through like um, participating in jury duty which I thought was quite nice quite nice because obviously before Monday I thought that it was 
like completely unnecessary and I didn't want to go and it was going to be such a burden but he like made me feel like a proud U.S. citizen he did he was pretty nice um and so I don't have any details about the case and I also wouldn't be able to say anything because if not I would get in trouble right he said that he made that very clear <laughs> um but one thing about the case was so this is this is June 19th and he explicitly said like usually like they pick the jury and then once the jury is like vetted and they choose the jury people um they go straight into like the evidence part but for this case for some reason the evidence wasn't going to be ready for like three more weeks um right in the middle of july and for me that was like right in the middle of my summer program with the kids that i took part in organizing and I'm obviously like a facilitator for because that's my job and our staff is small so each of us like um, plays a really big role and we all have to participate um, but they just let us he, he let us know those terms and he just let us say let us walk out because he was just like if you don't feel like you can make it like you guys can just go ahead and leave now um, I will say that like 80% of that room just like walked right out and I was just like how many of y'all really really can't be here right now but you know such is life so since we walked out it was lunchtime so we went to lunch for like another hour and 40 minutes I swear that Tuesdays was even longer and then when we came back they called my name again towards the a little bit before three o'clock and I thought that I was gonna go back up again and just I had just been like put in the pool again for being like chosen for like another jury I suppose um, but then like the guy the court officer just gave me the letter saying that I had fulfilled my civil duty and that I was all done with jury duty and that I wouldn't have to go back for another four to six years and I was like genuinely disappointed. Like I was like, I was having a great time. I thought that it was quite fun. Um, so that was it. That was the end of my jury duty experience. I was a little sad because I was ready to go for day three and like spend the whole week there. I had things prepared to work on, uh, including like just wearing my sweatpants all week, but it was not in the cards for me, unfortunately. So in terms of the stickers that I was putting down, you guys already saw me put down like the organization stickers to mark that I was, you know, fixing my closet and stuff like that. I do want to just take, maybe I'll do some of the skinny Simply Gilded Washi at the end. That's a little bit of an awkward space. Um, so I organized my closet, I did all that clean out and bringing out my old summer clothes. Um, and then that evening I did take a bath, so these little cucumber eyes, I put them on a mint little thing, and that's also from Hello Petite Paper. And then I slept early because, um, this is the sheet by the way, I fell asleep early, or I did my best to do so, um, because it was actually really bad timing, but I couldn't postpone any further. These first two days of jury duty actually overlapped with the first two days of our staff training for our college staff, which for the summertime is um, much more intensive than during the academic year. So it was actually the beginning of like a two week training for them. And I ended up missing out on the first two days, which was, it wasn't that bad, but I couldn't afford to miss any more. And the schedule for uh, that training involves like being there quite early because it's like a full day thing for us and for them. It's like an internship for them. Um, so I wanted to sleep early because my schedule had kind of been out of whack with jury duty. Um, just to add a little bit more foil because there's never enough. I went ahead and added these foiled uh, confetti overlays just over the gold glitter. It's extra subtle over the gold, but I think that I just needed a little bit more something shiny because I obviously am pulling in foil stickers here, but not quite as many as I usually do. So there we are. I was just looking at it and I thought it could use a touch more shine. So I fell asleep early and then it was back to work back to work, back to reality. Um, so to mark work this week, 
Uh, there's like a good amount of like black and dark colors in this kit, so I want to use some of my stickers that I don't get to use that often, including like my black uh, script words and stuff like that. So these are really pretty. These are from Sweet Bella XOXO as well, the same as um, the organized script. And I just love how they extend across the full width of the column. So I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then to mark on Wednesday, um, on Wednesday we had breakfast with the students before they began like a certain part of their training. So I'm just going to take one of these little coffee cups from Tasseled Planner. They're like ice drinks, I suppose. And I think that this does a good job of representing both getting back to work and being tired and also actually eating something. And the only other thing really for right now that I can see that I marked is that I had to go to the post office to mail some swaps. So let's take a quarter box or a flag for that. Let's do this minty green flag right here. Or maybe I'll move it down. I think I'm going to need some more washi on this day, but I don't want it to be right in line with this one. And this drink sticker I'm going to move to the other side. These tweezers make moving everything like surgery, but I'm really into it. And I'm just going to layer this little mail envelope from Sticky Sloth Designs right over that floral there. Because I do want to still see a little bit of that. Then that evening I did work on editing another video. So I'm going to take another one of these laptops from Tickled Pink Planning. Then I think that I'll take a half box, perhaps this one here with like the mint because that evening um, I had some downtime and it looks like I got to work on just filling in a few empty spreads in my planner. So I'm going to take one of these little planners from Planning World. Okay, so that is Wednesday. So Thursday, I'll take a half box um, to mark that we, I just want to remind myself that on this day, we spent the day at our other campus. I had a meeting with some of my bosses, actually. Ooh. Now I'm going to need undo for this because I wanted to pull something else for the meeting. I always forget these stickers, but I always want to use them. Okay, so the sticker that I want to use is this one from Simply Watercolor Co. Because I like to use these to mark meetings and things at work. And instead of the half box to mark the reminder that I was at my other campus, I'm going to do this little bow clip from Planning World. And this was a pretty exciting meeting. So afterwards, um, I went and I got Chipotle with my coworker. Um, and we kind of just discussed like what we both <laughs> spoke about in our meetings. Uh, so that's from Rose Color Days as well. Um, and it seems, according to my notes, that I had to go to the post office again. I swear that I just live and breathe going to the post office multiple times per week. So I, I keep forgetting to use this, but I also just have so many stickers that I love to use my own stickers as much as possible. These are also from Hello Petite Paper and they match the kit so perfectly, so I definitely want to use these more. I'll be sure to incorporate them a bit more. Maybe I'll do, instead of this eye mask, and this is on premium matte, so it's really easy to peel up. Never mind, that just tore my page. I'll do this little pillow to mark sleeping early. Um, and that is about it for Thursday, so that might just need to be some washi filling up space. Okay, and then 
for Friday, Friday I'm actually going to use this coffee cup also from the matching deco sheet because this is a really busy day at work uh, between like the training that I spoke about and also just like preparing for all of the students. Um, and I was not feeling well. I started feeling under the weather. I even feel like I mentioned it in this plan with me video. Um, like a few days before this Monday, I was kind of feeling under the weather, but not really too much. And then on Friday, it kind of just hit me like a sack of bricks. Like I was not feeling good at all, you guys. Should I do this one? No, I think I'll take like a flag or a quarter box. Um, to mark getting lunch with. My coworker, let's do this peachy one. I did have a really good lunch that day though, so that was promising. I think it was around this time that I told you guys that I discovered an entire like underground shopping and eating area right by my job with bubble tea and stuff like that, so my life has been changed since. And I went on this day as well. Um, so oh, but by the end of the day, I was feeling like such trash, you guys. Oh, so bad. And usually, so Steve and I, we don't live together. I've said this before. In the in the plans soon, though. <laughs> so hopefully really, really soon. Um, but until now, we still don't live together. So um, we only really see each other on the weekends, right? And it's, it's okay. It works. But it also means like that on the... Like, I do my best to, like, see him every single weekend, regardless of what's going on. So even if I'm not feeling, like, 100%, if I can travel, like, I'll still go to see him. But this day, and usually on Fridays, we meet up after work, and we have the weekend together. I was just like, oh, I feel way too sick, and I just... It was the beginning of a head cold, and it's, like, that kind where... Your head feels like it weighs a million pounds on the first day and that's what was going on this day so i made myself these sick day stickers also because i've been a little under the weather the past few days as well working with kids you guys they just like they're like little petri dishes that walk around and they get you sick love them but i need to use more hand sanitizer so i made myself these i just bought like really cheap tissue clip art and just added um the word sick day over it and i just cut it on my machines um, so I'll just put that there because I stayed home and I wonder if there's, yeah, I'm going to use this little house icon. My mom was actually out of the house this whole week. She went on like a little vacation for her birthday, which was Sunday. So it was just my dad at home, my dad and my brother, and he was kind of surprised to see me. But I told him, I was just like, Dad, I don't feel good. So this evening, he kind of just took care of me and got me my favorite dinner. So I'll use a half box to mark that. Some of these things aren't cut like the most perfectly. So just this little house icon to mark staying home. So that's it for Friday. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. And I believe we were wrapping up Friday when I left off. It's actually the next day. My battery just ended up dying right after I finished Friday. I believe I, f I think I finished Friday. I just ended up spending the rest of the night at home. So now we're going to move on to Saturday and the weekend. And I do think that I want to use this weekend banner because it's so cute with the bows. Um, and I don't always get to use her weekend banners. So, why not? Oh, oh no. Ah, okay. Starting off on a good foot. Lining up weekend banners is just always easier for me when I have... Um, when I flip the whole thing upside down. I'm not sure why, but it's what always works for me. So, there we go. That's really cute, actually. I love all of those colors. Um, so, Saturday, I still wasn't feeling too hot, but I felt a little bit better. I think Friday was really the worst of it. So, I met up with Steve on Saturday, 
and we had some breakfast at home together. Um, it was actually like really exciting, but kind of not exciting, and you'll hear about it in a second. We were supposed to go to a food truck festival that weekend. It happens once a year in Steve's County. And last year we went and really enjoyed it. There was a lot of great food and um, I had an awesome time. It was great. So this year I was even more prepared to have a really good time. I think last year my stomach might have hurt a little bit. Oh no, this isn't cut or cut too much. I wanted to use these cute little functional stickers. Ah, I guess not. Okay, I had to get my X-Acto knife out, but I managed to get the one that I wanted off. I wanted, oh, maybe I will put just the treat yourself here and maybe write food truck festival in here inside the box. Um, so last year I had a bit of a stomach ache. Not too much, it just kind of seemed like whatever I had the night before kind of upset my stomach a bit. And I didn't want to overdo it at the food truck festival because it's like all that fun sort of food that's all fried and it's all delicious, but a lot of it at once, um, definitely not too good for you. So uh, that was last year. And then this year I was so excited, even though I was sick, I told Steve that I wanted to go because it only happens once a year, right? So we go. And then, um, it was, uh, it sucked, you guys. I don't know what the heck happened, but this year, even though there were more people, they made the area smaller. There were less food trucks. The one that I really, really wanted to be there was not there this year. I was just, I was not happy about it. I think the worst part of it was that, um, the... The lines, because there were fewer trucks and stuff, fewer options, the lines were super, super long for just like food that I definitely could have gotten at other places. So I was really, really mad about it. And I wasn't feeling well and Steve was like, you know, we can just do whatever you want. Do you want to stay? Do you want to get these things? And I was just like, I don't want to be here. Like I was being, I was being a real brat, but I was so hungry. So instead I put that in a half box um, with another meal icon. We went to get my favorite dinner. We went to Japanese barbecue, which seems to be a lot like Korean barbecue where you just like cook up your own meat and your own steak and stuff like that, which I love. And they have the best fried rice and stuff. So we really, like, indulged there. It's our favorite meal together as well. So we got that, and then we got some dessert. So I just used some more of the deco from the deco sheet to mark that. We got some crepes, which was amazing. And then, since I wasn't feeling too hot, but I definitely had a very full belly, which was great, um, I just ended up kind of falling asleep. <laughs> and I just slept the rest of the night, but it was great. Then on to Sunday... Now, Sunday was actually my mom's birthday. I think I mentioned this already. So, for that, I want to take one of these foiled basics from Simply Watercolor Co. And I think that I'll take this little cake and maybe I'll put it over a little flag. Uh, let's do the stripey or the, no, the stripey one. Super duper cute. So, she wasn't here, though. Like I said, she was on vacation for her birthday, so I just want to mark it, though. And I think I've spoken about this place already. There's a place in Steve's County as well that's, like, famous for making, like, not gourmet, but, like, I guess really, really good hot dogs. It's called Walter's, and when I mentioned it in my video, a few people that also live in the same area said that they had been, which is pretty cool. It's just really, really good hot dogs. So we went there. So maybe to change it up, I'll use one of the meal icons from the kit. I've been using the same foil ones. I need like better calibers of food icons or food type things because I feel like I just keep using the same rose colored days meal icons. Ugh, why isn't this cut good? Maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Yeah. Um, I just keep using the same rose-colored days ones to mark even the smallest things to my favorite dinner, so I need some more variety with that. Then it seems like we went shopping. This was, yeah, this is after our vacation, but it looks like we did some shopping for, um, 
oh, I know what it was. We got some birthday presents because Steve's dad's birthday is actually quite close to my mom's birthday. So he wanted to get some stuff for his dad. And then I also wanted to get some stuff for my mom for when she came back. And then lastly, it looks like the last thing that I did that evening once I got home was to film. So I think I'll take this peachy half box here. And maybe I'll just use a little coordinating planner from the kit to mark that I filmed. I plan with me for the next week. So that's about it for the week's uh, plans. Maybe let's just go ahead and work on this extra area here before wrapping up the video. So I think that for this half, this section is always a little difficult for me because I don't use it quite as functionally as other people. Again, because I often use these like after the fact, um, after the week is over, so it's not like I really need to list things, but I just genuinely like playing with stickers and using stickers makes me really happy. So I am just going to decorate it because I think it's really fun. So I think I'm just going to use the rest of the washi from the washi sheet. And I like to just lay it down here. Does anybody else kind of just decorate for the heck of it? Just because you enjoy decorating? I don't know if it's just me because I don't use things functionally too much, but I definitely really, really enjoy it. There we go. And maybe I'll put this one on top as well. Why not? Cute. I think that to decorate these little areas here, I'm going to use the deco from the kit, like the actual deco. Sometimes I use bows, but I have so much cute deco here that I think that it would be a disservice not to use it. So maybe let's do... Oh gosh, I love these little sunglasses so much. Maybe we'll put that here next to Happy Thought. Perhaps... Um, maybe let's do a little cactus here somewhere on this second page. Maybe right there. Oh, I think I'm going to put the last full box down here. Kind of just for the heck of it. Oh, and I got my new whiteout. I ordered some new whiteout if you watched my last plan with me. This one that came up, well, the one that went up just a few days ago. I mentioned the whiteout. And basically what I said is that before planning, I never would have gone through an entire 10 pack of whiteout, but I actually did recently, so I had to get some more. Okay, I think I'm just going to put this one down here. Maybe I'll put a half box first. Sometimes I like to put a half box just so that I can write something down, maybe. Okay, so let's go back to the deco. There's some big deco that I kind of want to use, like this RV. Or do I need this half box down there? Maybe I'll take out the half box and instead just use some of this larger deco. If I have so much of it, might as well use it. Ooh. I think that I'll put maybe this little anchor here mm. and I really like this little bathing suit and these little shorts 
And I love this little strawberry. I think that should do. I'm going to white out this last line now since I'm going to do some deco here. I want to use the RV since it's a little big to put anywhere else. And I also kind of wanted to put the bathing suit. The little bikini is so cute. Cute. Um, I think that's where I'll leave it. I did bring out some Simply Gilded Washi that I was considering putting some places. But maybe we'll just leave it open. Let's not overwhelm ourselves. Yeah, so I think this is where I'm going to leave things before I get a little too crazy. Like I said, I'm going to fill everything out and I'm going to be using this Uniball Signo pen in the .38. This is a very, very thin pen, um, but with such bright colors, I kind of want to keep things a little bit lighter. And I've been trying to work on my handwriting and make it a little bit softer, so... I'm going to go ahead and fill everything out, and then I'm going to pop my inserts back into my planner. Then we can wrap up this whole video. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and popped my inserts back into my planner and this is how it turned out. I think that it's really, really cute and I was super happy that I was able to use this spread or use this kit in my uh, traveler's notebook before the end of the summer because I love the way that the spread looks. It's super fun and bright and really, really unique. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing about this eventful and kind of crazy week in my life. Um, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments or anything, please feel free to leave them down below. And until the next time, I hope that you guys take care and we will chat very, very soon. Bye-bye.